Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special episode of Ark 30 Days to Die. We are taking on the Ice Cave, but this is, uh, well, let's just say it didn't go as planned or as expected. In fact, it didn't go any way I could have even thought it would. I had no idea it was going to turn out like this, and this is not clickbait meant to really in or anything. This is me being serious and saying the outcome... I would have never expected. I'm going to take this five and a half hour long recording session, six and a half if you catch in a break I had to do, and turn it into a fun little mashup here. So me, full frame, you're going to see me a little bit often because I'm going to be your guide throughout this video. I'm going to drop in here and there to kind of tag you along and make sure you keep up to pace because there was a lot that happened here that might be hard to follow. Especially when you're trying to pack it down to a concise 30 minutes. So, enjoy the video, and I'll see you in it. If the title doesn't lie... Oh, man, I can't even... I can't even do a hyped intro. I'm like... I am mad nervous, okay? Welcome, everybody, to one of the most exciting episodes we've had on this series so far in ARC. I've had a lot of saying, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, we're gonna do this at this time, we're gonna do that at this time. That's no more. Today is the day of no prep. Today is the day of already done, already good to go, going. The ice cave. The ice dungeon with the queen. What's the queen? The ice worm queen? I believe it is. Whatever it's called. Whatever she's called. She'll be dead anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Check out my character. Completely naked. But that is far from where we are currently at. Hopbar situated with everything that we need including for the first time for those that have never watched my rx series before this might come as a shocker because i played for so long the first time that i have ever made consumables to go and take something on i know i'm very weird i just never got into that territory we got the industrial cooker working up over there this needs to be turned off though and we've also had some other things going on there. I'll show off this little, you know, I've, some designs that I've done up there at another time. Let me show you guys what we got, and then we're gonna go. We got our standard pickaxe, just in case we need to mine anything. Who gives a shit? Our shotgun, 225% Mastercraft with 300 ammunition. We likely won't need this, but we can make more of these, and we can make more of the shotgun shells. I don't mind taking this. doesn't really bother me. We got our shield, most importantly, because we're going to be pairing this up with a couple of... Did I say shields? Sword, because we're going to be pairing this up with some shields. Remember, the way to defeat one of the worms, if you're not going to have someone else do it for you, is block, swing, block, swing. So a pike, no go. We're not bringing that in. Five parachutes in our hot bar slot number four, because don't want to fall and die, and we're going to need them in a couple of situations. The fun part. Item inventory number five is a medical brew. This is better than the one that you just stick into yourself because these are crafted in the industrial cooker over there. 40 health in five seconds. That's a really good number. It's 10% of our health in five seconds time. And we have 36 of those. We're not dying. At least hopefully not. The shadow steak saute. Our first consumable. The shadow steak Gives you plus 50 insulation, which will be good for us dealing with the coal since we're not going to be having on full fur. And minus 80% recoil. It's a very weird one, but it'll be nice when we're using our shotgun because it won't be blasting up in our face. It's a different one, but I'm mostly just using this for the insulation purpose. The next one. This is one of the most drawback items. The Battle Tartar. This dish is insane. It lasts for three minutes... And it gives you plus 60% melee damage, plus 50% movement speed, you heard me right, plus 15% resistance, so less damage taken, and a passive stamina buff. So we take less stamina or gain it faster, something like that. It's a lot of pluses. The downside, though, it damages you over time. Because this lasts for three minutes, it'll drain you. 0.45 HP every second, in layman's terms, 90 HP over the course of three minutes. So we're going to be hurting, but the medical brews can cancel that out. So as long as we use a couple medical brews during this time, won't even affect us all that much. Other thing though, it will make us consume our food and water 50% faster. We have water jars, we got stuff to go against that. 
those aren't too big of drawbacks, but the resistance and the movement speed, big pluses on that one. So that lasts for 30 minutes. Same with the Shadow Stake. The Focal Chili. This one's pretty simple. Plus 25% movement speed and 100% crafting speed. That doesn't really matter, but a little bit more movement speed thrown in the mix. And the other one that we have is the Fryer Curry. Plus 50% or 50 installation rather. So that combined with the Shadow Stake is 100 bonus installation. We shouldn't freeze. And 25% reduction in your food and water consumption. So if these two go against each other, we should only be docked down 25% in total on that. These are the only things that we need in terms of consumables. I looked into a lot of other ones. They're just not necessary or not fitting with what we need. We've got three sets of armor we're going to be going in with. Even though it's an ice cave, the only fur we're bringing is the chest piece because each one of these chest pieces are about 200 hypothermic insulation. Even though the rest of it's riot gear and the miner's helmet, this all combined up gives you more insulation than a full standard fur coat. And with the 100 extra we've got down here, we should not freeze. And even if we do freeze a little bit and take a little bit of damage, the medical brew will absolutely offset any damage that we're taking. We also have three shields we're bringing with. A polymer, or journeyman riot shield rather, with 8,000 durability. The standard is 2,000, I believe, or three. I think it's three, but that's about three times more stronger. Weird statement. Three times stronger than anything else you can get just off of basic crafting and two metal shields this one's primitive a little bit better and this one's got 3500 durability just to bring you know we'll probably use these first i'm not sure and i had a narcotic not a narcotic what am i doing a mind wipe tonic before we went in and i changed up my stats a little bit my health is now at 420 instead of 400 buffed it up a little extra stamina is at 150 instead of 200 so i docked that down five points i feel that's all right Food and water and oxygen are all the same. Weight carrying, though, is 500. Because notice, we're at 300 weight right now. That was our max before. I know this all might be overkill. Let me pull down. Hold on a second. Let me pull down the webcam for just a moment, all right? I know all this over here might be overkill. Whether it is or not, I want to make sure I've got everything that I could possibly need. And we're pretty heavy. So 500 weight on that is also going to be good because I docked down my movement speed from 148% to 136. But because we have more weight carrying capacity, we're basically faster, if not even, you know, around the same. And the fortitude is at zero. Nothing here is going to knock us out, so I'm not worried about that. This, I think, is good for caving and resource gathering with a 500 weight. And that, my friends, bring it on over, is our prep. Now, the other end of the preparation... Is the thing I'm most nervous about. Our Vulture Pack. 19 of these guys leveled up. I believe 30 levels each. And I think they've got a level in them. Yeah, they still got a little bit of a bonus level. Their melee damage has basically not been buffed at all. Their health is what I'm buffing right now. Because these guys need to be as strong as they possibly can. Going over this whole meta. I read on Reddit that... 2500 should be your freaking minimum like no lower than that or these guys will die some of these guys are teetering just a bit over like this right here 3000 that's pretty all right there's a couple that are kind of close but this guy 3600 and there's a couple of 4ks i believe around here too they'll survive they'll survive let's see where the weakest link is i know it's somewhere around here 3300 4000 3100 is it you? No. 3,000. 3,300. 3,500. 3,600. 3,900. These guys are going to be what's attacking everything. Because the ideal is that you equip a shield, call these guys to whistle, attack my target. So the first thing that hits me, I block with my shield, and they do the work for me. I'm over prepped. And honestly, if this doesn't work, all I can say is I gave it my best effort, and I don't know what we're going to do from there. But let me go ahead and pick up the glass walls. These guys are going to come flying with me. We're going to go over. 
and I'll meet you guys there. And I'm going to say this right now in the most serious manner I possibly can. I never ask for it, but if you haven't left a fucking like on this fucking amazing seriously lit video, I'm questioning yourself entirely. Leave a goddamn like. This video's going to be good. At least I hope. It's going to be. Faith. Hey, stop doubting myself, man. It's gonna be good. I flew all the way over and realized there was a little mix-up. I didn't have nearly enough insulation for the cave. So, flew all the way back, changed up a couple things, especially the tartars and stuff. Removed a couple of items and changed them out. And here's the actual start of the run. Okay, we got everybody. We're ready to go. We got all 19 on our back. I made up some more medical brews, 20 more of them. So we have 54 in total. Our insulation, I think, is already doing better. Yeah, we're not cold right now, so this is already a lot better. Um, even though our insulation is 470 and it was 500 before, but that's without the buffs. I haven't drank these yet, so that'll be 571. The armor we're wearing instead of the gauntlets that we had on before are these. Highest durability item that I have, aside from the shield. 529 durability. The hypothermic insulation is 120. That's 100 better. And the armor is 118, so 200 armor less, so that's going to hurt a little bit more. But I think that'll counteract the idea of freezing. Coupled with the fact that I also, by the way, brought the Rexbone helmet skin, which you might be wondering, why on earth would you need that? The Rexbone helmet skin, when equipped to the Heavy Miner's helmet, gets rid of the light. It doesn't stop the damage from happening because the light, unfortunately, drains the helmet's durability. I guess it's the offset of how good it is. But... It does make it so it's not as blinding on you guys because I was shining on the shield before. But you can notice us going down here, we're not even cold yet. We will drink these curries in a moment. I think as soon as we enter into the actual cave, we'll be doing that. Well, let me tell you this. If I go and fight this first guy, the first one that we find, and my birds don't attack, I am Googling the shit out of this. But apart from that, though, this is going to be an uncut footage sort of deal. Uh, do we want to test out the waters on these guys here? You might have to to get rid of them. Yeah, let me, uh... Alright, guys. Come on. Let's have some fun. One hit on me. <gasps> oh my god, that was a level 270 they just killed. Why are you not angry at me? Okay, fine. Hey, I shot you in the face and you're not mad. I don't mind that. That's all right. Now, what about health-wise? Ooh, they're already... Okay, you guys are already a little weak. Yeah, a couple of you got some chunks out of you. In fact, actually, most of you have about 300 out. That's to show you guys right there the fact that health is so damn important in this. Yeah, that got... Wow. Okay, you guys have already... Ugh. Um... So the only time I might take a break is maybe to wait for these guys to heal. That'll be the only time I cut the footage is if we're making it, waiting for these guys to heal. Now also, this is the bitch part, is getting these guys through here. Because they usually get stuck. From what I've seen. Okay. Yep, that's the majority stuck. Alright, so what we gotta do now is we gotta go in here and throw them, basically. Kind of yeet them out for the most part. Uh, in fact, actually, if these guys all stop, that'd be nice, but I'd prefer... Nah, you know what? They're all following me. I might as well keep them on. It can sometimes take longer to get them all to follow you than it does to get them through this. Hey, buddy. Y'all are coming through. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> I said it was going to be uncut. And again, aside from the healing, depending on where we are, like right now, if they're healing and I want to take some time, I might cut the footage. But if I'm healing in the middle of, like, being there inside the cave fighting people I, I won't cut it all right dom come on y'all gonna move for a second thank you how many more do we got uh, we got like seven of them back there yikes oh guys don't start coming over oh i'm getting stuck a little frustrating okay very frustrating am i gonna have to tell you guys to stop yeah i think so unfortunately all right quit following me for just a moment just a moment. All right. Harvest settings. Can I even pick this guy up? No, I can't. Don't fly out. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do it. It's real cold. Titty, are you stuck in the wall? Titty, I swear to God, if you're stuck up there. If we're not going to... Are we going to go off without you, Titty? 
Never even broke 3k. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, alright. So, let's get down here. Okay, and now... Go there. Come on. Gabriel, all you guys. Sarah. Let's go. Wait, what? What? Guys, come on, we got shit to do, apparently. How did one of them just up and die already? Attack my target. We all ready to go? You better be. Apparently there's one right here. Alright, well, let's do it. Saw one right there. You boys got it? That's two of them. That's a few of them. Oh my god. Holy shit. Hello. Oh my god, that's so many. That's already so many. Are they hurt? Shit, I'm holding out the shield for a second. How you guys doing? Fine. They're doing fine. Alright, we keep going. Oh my god, there's so many more than I remember when I watched the video. This is a stupid amount more. What the hell? Okay, sure. I- I guess- Oh my god, some of them have already died. I need to fucking run. Are you- Are you kidding me? Wait... You're not serious. Can I- You're not serious! You gotta be joking me! How do I even get up here? Oh, through that way. Okay. Is there a way for me to get back up? I'm assuming not. Oh, well given that I'm stuck too. Look at that. I watched a video... Actually, it was two videos. Both times, both times in the video, there was only about maybe four ice worms that came out of the ground. That was just 11 right off the bat. We didn't even make it to the safe area. How many do we even have? We got six. 13 of our vultures is dead. 200 HP. 300 HP, 200 HP. Yeah, only the ones with more than 3,500 health made it out alive. You tell me. Everything I read, everything I watched, 2,500 is the bare minimum, but it's enough. 10 vultures will be fine. 20 would be great. And I did it right, too. I- That's exactly the way you're supposed to kill him. You don't shotgun him. You just hold out the shield, get hit, and then the vultures go in and do it. But there was like... 10 in the matter of 20 seconds. One of our vultures even died by one out of no- I don't even know how that happened. I guess it wandered off without me. What do I do? Is there any way out? I can't- I can't get out of a vertical hit. That's just not possible. No, there's... There's no way for me to leave. I don't think. Now. Yeah, unless I can... Grapple onto... And I mean, after that point... No, I've already... 
Grappling hooks don't work in this, so I'm already... I'm so beyond upset that it's it hasn't even registered in my head what just happened. We don't have a lot of time on this series. Five days of this... Five days. We've got maybe 11 left, but five days it took to get these guys leveled up to where they are. Or was it four? Or three? Was it three days? <laughs> well, here's what I'm trying to figure out. I can't take any flyers in here. I can't take flyers in here. I, I That's just not something you can do. So I can't get out of this once I get up there it's not even going to let me out anyway so I don't know why I'm trying to make this jump but I guess it's the only thing I can do <laughs> am I just stuck here to die what do I have on me I got all my good shields uh, I mean none of this is permanent all these things I guess the leggings were the the legs are the things that I can't get back because those aren't blueprints but everything else are blueprints The healing and the curries and everything, all those are going to be gone. If I would have kept going and there was one or two more, they all would have died. So I don't want to hear... I'm, try like, I'm trying not to tell myself, you should have just kept running through. You should have just gotten to the safe zone. Because I, I don't even know if it is a safe zone technically or not. I don't remember if there was one exactly. I know before the queen, there doesn't. none of them spawn, but... I mean, what would have happened is I just... I go down to the queen, and then, what, six of them fight? If I can even get six of them in with me? Six isn't enough to kill the queen at all. And at that point, I'm basically left to shotgun the queen, but I... Now my shield durability, this giant thing with 5,000 durability lost. 3,500? That's exact. that's pretty much these two shields broken in this. Before I make any insanely stupid decisions right now and lose potentially a shit ton of loot, I'm gonna see if there's any way if I leave- Well, no, because even if I leave a, leave a bag on the ground, what's the despawn timer on it? What's your despawn timer? Two minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that's not enough. And that's universal, so it's not like if I lo leave a chunk. Even going back into the chunk, it'll take longer than two minutes to get down here. So... <sighs> Dude, what I could do is come back here another time and get these guys... Because I could take these vultures and pin them, like, up there. Tell them to go up there. So if I come back here... Another time, I could bring the vultures back out with me, because there's no danger up there. That way, I could just breed these guys, because how many do- let's see. Male. Female. 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 Male. And male. Perfect three- three to three. You couldn't have asked for anything better. I could breed these guys... ...and work on this again, but if I let all of them potentially die right now, which is a very big possibility... Because if 19 of them wasn't enough to kill to kill to get past this stage, even this like little throwdown right here, then six isn't gonna be enough. I think I have to f make sure that they don't get killed. Yeah, healing or not, I mean we could throw some levels into you and force heal you, but I'm probably just gonna call them over there and have them sit there, and I'll come back for them another time. I am blessed that even these guys made it out alive. I thought all of them had died at that point, but I'm so thankful that I took it. I was going to do this yesterday, and if I did it yesterday, they wouldn't have been at this health level, and they all would have died. Okay, I'm going to leave them up there, and I'm going to do a run. If I die, I die at this point. Sucks, but it's kind of how it is. For everybody saying, if there's anybody, thinking to yourself, just put them in, put the items in the bird, and then you'll get the item. You can't put items in the birds. Get your wings on. Go too far. Wait, another one survived? Wait. Get your ass over here, Dumbo! What, do you want to die? Yeah, I'll take seven. Sure, why not? Go way up. Or potentially even out of the cave. Yeah, that works. Alright. I love you guys. I'll see you another time. But for me...
This is about where I am. With everything. One last hoorah. Don't know if I'm ready for this one. Just to make sure that I have the most potential in doing this. As I possibly can could. Uh... We are 100% putting on new gear. Because I'm probably not going to be able to stop during this. What's this durability? 3,000. It's about what I got with these shields, so... I think that's fine by me. Yep, it's fine by me. And the legs. 370. Okay. Alright. <sighs> Give me your support! It didn't end the way I thought it would. Or even start the way I th it didn't start the way I thought it would. Let's do it. Here we go. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm dead. I'm trapped and I'm dead. It didn't last very long! There was like four of them, man! I think I speak for everybody when I say that that didn't go as planned. And if you expected it to go that way, well, the dying possibly, but I'm gonna have to call you a liar because... I looked at a lot of research and a lot of footage from multiple POVs of people doing this cave because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was in for, especially with the stakes at hand. And that was by far magnificently worse. By so much. And not to mention, an old familiar event happened afterward. This would be it. Vultures. Hello, everybody! Come on up. Let's go. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Now, you might have noticed I brought something with me. <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. I don't go down without a fight. Or until I lose all my armor. I am in for something right now. Oh, boy. All right. Well... Whether we get stuck or not, it's not really of my concern. I'm going in third person, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go in third person, so I actually can see which way I need to go. This with the shields well, too. Yeah, third person's definitely the meta. Okay. Oh boy, alright. Unless I get literally stuck on a rock, that's always fun. Cool, just climb on top of me! Are you serious?! There's actually zero way this can be done with the way that I'm doing it right now. I have an idea. I have an idea. Yeah, I got an idea. I got an idea. I set a bed down back over at the spawn point. This way, I can at least get my Argentavis back. Unless the game crashes. Oh no! Oh no. Yo, I'm watching this back in editing. Look at my face when I realize. <laughs> oh. I love myself. I'm really nervous to see where it spawns me. Huh. 
Interesting. So this was before... Huh. This was right before I just went in. So I'm essentially redoing the part of the... Interesting. At this point in the run, I realized it was basically free game. Every time I died, I would just wind up crashing and getting reverted right back to the point where I was, so I could continue doing the cave for as long as I wanted to. And that's exactly what I did. I continued doing it because I thought, hey, this seems really weird, and I don't recall this ever being the way that it was, so I figure, what if I just try to really see how far I could get in the cave through almost every means possible to find out if it was just the start or the entire thing. Same exact thing. Taking a lot less damage so far, though. Good job, Mark. Good job. At this point, I realize that I'm still going to have the ability to go in there as many times as I want, really without repercussion. But I figure I might as well try a new meta, or something I think would work. Here's a mashup of that. No! Come on! Why does that- What do you mean? Oh, they were behind me! No, I shouldn't have ran back! No! My shield's gonna break! No! Son of a bitch! Well, any hit I take now will get me killed. In fact, my health's about to make me injured. So if there's another one here, I'm dead. It's gonna come down to running here in a second. Would you just die? Wait, what? Hold me over prayers, because if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Here we go. good to know that if you die, you also fall through the map. That's about how I feel right now. Stand on top of one. Stand on top of five! There's just no way for me to get over there. Is it only one? Nope. It was two. Oh my god, yep, there's a lot. No! How do you- How do you get past this part? They literally just don't stop spawning in the same place. It was time to get to the bottom of this. I had an idea. Because I think I knew what the issue was. So at this point... This loss becomes grunt force trying to see what I could do for ultimately not much of a reason. And it became Mythbusters now because we might have an answer to what's going on. You know what sucks? I really fail to believe that this is because I'm in a single player world right now. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. To me, what I think would have been the best thing to do is first off, take a backup of the world, which sucks that I didn't. Too bad, so sad. But I, I almost wish I could, like, wouldn't doing a dino wipe help? Like a wild dino wipe? If they overspawned? So I could wipe the dino. You know what? I'm going to try that, actually. I'm going to go in there because I want to see if it works. Because I, I think they're underneath already. I don't know, actually, if that's how it works or not. I don't know if they're technically on the map or me walking over actually creates them in that instance. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to wipe the dinos from the wild and see whether or not that affects the spawn rate. Because if it does, then that shows that this was a bug. I, I still feel like this is a bug regardless, but that'll it'll just give me an answer. Okay, so let's find out. Cheat. Destroy wild dinos. I felt like maybe that did something. I'm gonna do it again, just to make sure. So 
So that's them spawning, I believe. So the question is, is this guy spawn in front of me? Oh. Excuse me. I've got full armor on right now, and I've got a... Yeah, I've got everything I need. Even got a spare shield. We go ahead and drop that. Drop that one as well, too. Okay, one down there. I mean, there's gonna be some, right? But we're testing to see how many... Let's find out. There's one. So far, I'm able to get the farthest that I have on foot. Wait, no way. Show me if there's another. I watched through a video of someone doing it. So far, that's not too out of place. So, what what they said is to the left, this wraps me back around to the spawn. Or to the exit. Back from where I came. That other way I didn't go. This one is a bit safer, but it leads me to the queen. But they said this one's more dangerous. The hell? Maybe wiping the dinos. Huh. Maybe destroying the dinos didn't give them enough chance to respawn. Or maybe not. See, this feels like what I watched. Just a few of them, and then you get to the queen. Although, I think there should be a few more than what there is right now. Yeah, okay, there you go. Right on target. Right on time. This is more like what it should be. Without a doubt. I watched this from multiple POVs. Should be one right about now. What can I say? It, it's- This is flowing in the way that I understood it to happen originally. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Perfect. It's literally perfect. Now, I'm gonna- I'm gonna play the- the other end of the advocate on this one because I wanna just- I wanna look at it from all sides. Possibility that maybe there's not a lot because the command was just used. And if I waited, like, even 30 more minutes, it would spawn the same amount back again. So, when I die here, we're gonna test one more thing. Just because I want to make sure this is foolproof. I don't want to go in thinking I got cheated. When it could just be the brunt and gore of what I might have to deal with. So, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Going right back from here, after giving it a little bit of time to spawn, let's see how many there are. I am going to stay here and wait half an hour, because I know this place is safe. And after half an hour, we're going to rerun through the cave. On god mode. Purely for testing. In fact, I'm going to enable god mode. Cheat god right now, because I don't want my curry to run out while I'm gone and have that be means of me dying. We're here to test. I'll be gone in half an hour, or maybe even an hour. I don't know how long it'll take me to get food. I don't know what I'm going to grab. Maybe KFC. <laughs> Maybe make my own food home. And we're gonna see how many there are from start to finish. If there's only a few, and it seems to line up, I'll be completely honest, like I have been, with how many I assumed and saw off of other POVs that there should be, we got gypped and I'm gonna QQ about it because I lost like 13 of my tames. Because of bullshit. Thankfully we got our items back, but still. Otherwise, if there's still a shit ton, we admit that we just lost, and we need to take this at a different pace. Probably, like, 20 sets of armor 
and holding off on using our vultures till the end of the boss. Be right back. Just noticed that OBS for some reason didn't record like the beginning portion after I had gotten back. Not sure why, but in the first section where all of my birds had originally died, that whole part, there was only one. There's my dead body. No, we're not repeating this. I already looted it. That was one. Okay, low number. That's two. If we get to the queen and there's like seven or eight in total, I think that's on pace. Anything lower, like maybe a six. But we found two so far. Three. Okay. Okay. By the way, I don't want to hear about, you're exploring in god mode, you don't, haven't seen this part. I've watched the video, don't talk to me. <laughs> I've already seen this, don't, don't do that. Please don't. Okay, uh. Then you just dive in here. So that was only three. And this part's the clear part. So that was only three parts there. And I don't think any of this can spawn bosses. No, it can't. Okay, well, hold on. Cheat fly. I hate that you can't get back on the ground. Cheat walk. <laughs> Wait. That works? I completely guessed that. <laughs> Yo, I'm insane. I completely, I've never, ever, in all my history of ARK. Come on, man. That, ah, oh, it's so good. So three in total if you went that way. What about this way, the way it's supposed to be more dangerous? I hear one. I'm just gonna swing at you. Jeez, talk about... Hey, yeah, a sword is a good idea. Bring a sword with you. That'll kill him. I mean, yeah, it kills him, but... Lord, at what cost? So that was only one. And then through past this way. That's another one. Okay. I think it's, like, slightly on the lower side. I know, it's- it's- genuinely, it's hard to believe that this seems so normal compared to the shit show we just dealt with, but I promise you guys, for those that have never seen this cave, this seems a lot more reasonable. Okay, yeah, I'm- yeah. Thank god I'm in god mode. This is insanely more reasonable. That- those, like, couple multiple spawns right there, after seeing that the- yeah. Solved! Done. Testing done. That's it. That line right there, where this is classified as the more dangerous route to go by far, because it takes you back home. Yeah. Not a doubt in my mind. Is there another one? Yeah. Not a doubt in my mind. Not a doubt in my mind. Not a doubt. Not a single doubt in my mind. There's not. There's not one. If I told you there was one, I'd be lying to you. So, myth busted, done, and, and... Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Why would I take a backup, man? Oh, voice cracks all around. I don't give a shit. Why wouldn't I take a backup of the world? Oh. Conclusion, by far, you can argue with me all you want. We definitely had a bug. They were overstacked and over spawning, and clearing the dinos solved it. That was a natural spawn we just went through. I know there was only eight the entire way, but that's what I've been saying there was going to be. Not the 50 we've been dealing with. There is in zero way that these guys even should have died that soon in because there was so many and they were double stacking that's what probably got him killed they were double stacking 
So while one group, while the whole group was attacking one, another was just pummeling them and they weren't focusing on it because they were already targeting one. So they were just getting hit helplessly. Yeah, no shit they died. Okay. Part one is over. I can't, I can't record anymore. We've already done too much. And it doesn't matter if I was able to get through that because no doubt I will be able to get through this cave just using a shotgun and taking some durability on my armor. That's not, that's not a question. But the queen hits three times harder and has 10 times the amount of health. I would not be able to survive the queen. So we need to go and we need to get more vultures. I need to breed more vultures, unfortunately. Hopefully I can do that in a relatively quick time span. And these guys being the higher level would hopefully mean that their offspring would already have a pretty decent boost of X XP. Like, if we breed a 4,000 and a 4,000 health together, will it produce at least a 2,000? I could hope so. That would be amazing. Say, so, part one's done. It was a Mythbuster. This probably did not end the way that anybody expected because it did not end the way I expected it either. I think it was still a relatively good video, though. So, hey, real talk. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I know... I don't know how I'm going to edit this together. I think I'm going to have some fun with it. But thank you for watching. Take care. We will catch you back next time. See ya! And there you have it. You know? Shit sucks. I don't really know why it caused that. But we know what to do before going into the cave the next time. Drop in. Clear all dinos. Wait an hour. And then go in. And that'll be the actual boss. That'll be the whole fight. So this is part one. Because again... Couldn't take care of it in this recording session. It'd be way too long, and I got more prep to do because, well, 13 of my, you know, vultures kind of died, which sucks, so I can't really spawn them back in fairly. I'd rather just rebreed them. You know, kind of sucks, but, hey, can't revert the world. Got to do with what I got to do. So, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in part two. By the way, please leave your comments. I am really curious to what you guys think. This video will likely be up before the second part is filmed, so... Go crazy. I'll be listening. Who's my good boy? Who's my good boy? Oh.